Israel has already taken home two Olympic medals in Rio, and there could be more to come. But winning isn't everything. ILTV's Steve Leibowitz sat down with sports reporter Ori Lewis from Reuters to hear about which Israeli athletes value participating in the Olympics more than taking home the gold. Well, I think any athlete who goes to the Olympics knows that this is the pinnacle of their sporting achievement. Whatever happens, just to be there, it's such an incredible place to be, uh, whether you're there as a journalist, whether you're there as a spectator, and certainly if you're there as a competitor, it's just uh, something else. Now, uh, some of the athletes have not been there before. They will suddenly feel the whole world looking at them, and it really is, you know, there's billions of people on TV watching. There are hundreds of thousands of people uh, watching more closely, uh, you know, from uh, from uh, the spectators who are at the Olympics in general, um, and they they will be feeling this. This is not just some backwater uh, world championship held in uh, in some obscure country. This is the center of the world for three weeks almost, where everybody is watching, everybody is expecting the, the athletes of every country to do their best, and the Israelis are no different. So the pressures are going to be on them, no question. Um, but if they've had good preparation and they can just shut that out of their minds, they will be able to perform, hopefully, at their very best. And it's not a monolithic team, is it, of just Jews born in Israel? A number of immigrants on this team. We have um, a migrant, a, a migrant from Africa, uh, who's on the team. We have Russian-born. We even have people who spend most of their time outside of the country training and don't really live here. But how Israeli would you say this team is? Well, I think, I think the, the the bulk of the team are Israeli. Uh, the bulk of them do live in Israel, as you quite rightly say. There's uh, Lona Chamtai, the marathon runner who's naturalized, got Israeli citizenship very recently. I know she's your uh, Reuters has just done a, a recent feature about her. Exactly, yes. She's, uh, sh she married her Israeli, uh, Israeli coach, uh, Dan Salpeter. That's convenient. Yes, and that's how she got Israeli citizenship. She's not going to win a medal. She's not fast enough as a marathon runner to go anywhere near the, you know, the, the, the front group at the moment. Uh, but she's one example. There is uh, Donald Sanford, 400-meter runner from the States, who also uh, hooked up with, with an Israeli, and uh, he's, he's got Israeli citizenship. There are a few others. In some sports, if you want to perform at your very best, you need to be at the right place with other competitors. Uh, and that's not necessarily in Israel. The level of competition, the level of the ability to, to, uh, to perform and to prepare just doesn't exist. But that's true for almost every athlete in the world. You know, if they want to perform at their best in a, various, in a particular sport, they need to be with their peers. And that might be somewhere in Russia or somewhere in one of these uh, Eastern European countries or Japan. And of course, the United States, where the facilities are the best and the competition is the best and the coaches are the very best. And you will find athletes going over there to, to, to train and to, uh, and to, to hone their, uh, their skills so they get to their peak when the Olympics uh, come around. Some of the local angles might like to just hear about this. I know that you yourself are a, a good tennis player and golfer. Uh, we have representatives in golf, which is now an Olympic sport, and also in tennis. How, how are they going to do? Well, Dudi Seller uh, is a great guy, and uh, he's uh, ranked around 70 in the world. Um, I don't see him uh, going too far in this uh, in this competition, unfortunately. But uh, and a golfer, a woman golfer. Uh, yes, Leticia Beck, who's um, again, she's an amateur, uh, but she's uh, sh she's got in there, and, uh, and she's she's a good amateur. Um, I think uh, ranked around 60th in the world, and uh, so you're going to see you're going to see them go out there, fly the flag, and this is what you expect. Uh, really, you expect uh, you know uh, uh, athletes, whatever sport they're in, to to try to do their very best. Not everybody can win a medal. Only about a quarter of all, even less, I think, uh, even about a fifth of all competitors uh, will win any medal uh, at an Olympic Games. So you know, so many many people are going to go away disappointed. Many many people will just go there with, um, with, with the, the, the fact that they've had uh, a great time and uh, have competed against the very best in the world. 